हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वील एस आई एक्सपर्ट लेक्चर टेन ऑफ क्लॉक सीरीज इफ दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम यू आर सींग दिस सीरीज वीडियो आई हाईली रिकमेंड यू टू चेक द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज द क्लॉक इज क्यू हाउ डज इट अफेक्ट टाइमिंग एनालिसिस बोथ सेटअप एंड होल्ड वैल्यूशन वाई इट इज नॉट रिकमेंडेड टू टच क्लॉक पाथ जस्ट टू फिक्स फ्यू होल्ड वॉल्यूशन In the last lecture, we have discussed one method for fixing the hold violations when they are in large number. Now, in this lecture, we will discuss another method for fixing large number of hold violation using clock skew balancing technique. So, the method two downsize the clock buffer globally. So, when I am saying the downsize, I mean to say that reduce the clock buffer delay globally. Before that, I just want to explain you this particular circuit. So in this circuit, you can see that all the clock buffers have two nanosecond delay, and there are lot of hold violations except few places. Like here, you can see that there are hold margin. So in this circuit, you can see that all the clock buffer are of two nanosecond. So we have margin to decrease all these buffer delay from two nanosecond to one nanosecond. So that's that's the something I was talking about. Downsize the clock buffer globally. So let's reduce all the clock buffer from two nanosecond to one nanosecond, and we can do this in a single step just by replacing the clock buffer level. Now let's see that what is going to happen with the hold violation or the hold margin value. Let's start from here. This is a hold margin. Initially, it was a hold margin of one nanosecond. Now it is going to increase from one nanosecond to two nanosecond because you have removed one clock buffer from the capture flip flop similarly this whole violation of 1 nanosecond become the zero nanosecond margin this whole violation of 1 nanosecond was with respect to the timing path between the ff7 and ff3 now before downsizing the clock buffer the clock skew of this timing path was 10 minus 8 so it is like 1 2 3 4 5 5 cross 2, 10, and 1, 2, 3, and a 4. That means 4 cross 2, 8. So it becomes, uh, it was 10 minus 2, 2 nanosecond. But after you downsize, it becomes 5 minus 4, 1 nanosecond. So the whole violation also decreases from 2 nanosecond to 1 nanosecond. Now this can be fixed by removing one clock buffer from this particular clock path. Now this whole margin is going to increase from 1 nanosecond to 2 nanosecond. And the same expression because you have reduced the delay with respect to the capture flip-flop. Similarly, this whole violation of 1 nanosecond will be 0 nanosecond whole margin. Now this timing path is between the FF2 and FF6. Now before downsize the clock buffer, clock skew was 6 minus 4. So, with respect to this 1, 2, 3, 3 cross 2, 6 and with respect to this 2 buffer 2 cross 2, 4. So, it was like 6 minus 4, 2 nanosecond. But now it become 3 minus 2 equals to 1 nanosecond. So, this 2 nanosecond whole violation reduced to 1 nanosecond whole violation. So, we are not going to fix this right now because to fix this we have to touch any of the other clock path and it can affect other timing path. This one nanosecond violation is also going to convert into the zero nanosecond hold margin. Now this timing path is between FF7 and FF8 and before downsize the clock skew was 10 minus 8 equals to 2 nanosecond but after downsize it becomes 5 minus 4 1 nanosecond. Means this violation is automatically fix and convert into the 0 nanosecond hold margin. Now if we will not try to fix this particular violation right now, you can see that in a two step we have fixed all the violations. The first step is with respect to the downsize all the buffers and the second to remove the buffer associated with FF3. So we can fix this violation also. If we do few more iteration, I don't want to 
do that particular part because this one violation you can fix with the data path also. No need to do other iteration on the clock path. That's all. So in the next lecture, we will discuss one more method which will help you to understand this clock balancing more closely. We will fix this remaining violation also but in the less step. Thanks for watching this video lecture. To check out other video lecture on my channel and subscribe for more video lessons. Please share your comments, feedback, questions or requests. Stay tuned for next lecture. Thank you.